I'm glad of your company today. This is Esther from Stampin' Star Creations. So I've gone ahead and put down some watercolour paper into my Stamparatus and I'm using these stamps from Seaside Notions and trying to lay as many images as I can, squeezing them onto this small piece of paper. I somehow managed. <laughs> Without the magnets being very daring, I picked them all up and then going in with Versamark ink, giving it a good inking over and squashing that down to make sure that my images go over to the paper. Because it's slightly bumpy paper, I'm going in again and repeating the process. I'm using white um, embossing powder to cover it all up and then heat it. This process does seem to take a little bit longer. I don't know if it's because of the paper, but it does heat eventually. It's always useful to heat your tool up beforehand. So grabbing out all my watercolour pe uh, pencils available to me from Stampin' Up just so I can get a good range of the different colours and trying to kind of stick to this kind of nice nautical colour palette. So using the Calypso Coral and mixing it with Flirty Flamingo and then for this shell using the Calypso Coral again I wanted to make it look fairly realistic and to get those stripes in there. So although you can't see the detail very clearly at the moment, it will start coming through once we put the water on. So for the sand dollar, I'm using crushed curry and then I touch up the centres and around the edges using Cajun craze. Then with the coral stroke seaweed, I wanted a blend of colours, so I'm using Granny Apple Green and Coastal Cabana. Then for the seahorse, I decided to have a mixture of deep reds, purples and pinks. So laying down colours like Cherry Cobbler and Rich Razzleberry and some pinky colours also. I decided for this I would use some paintbrushes. I'm waiting for my new aqua pens to come and I thought I might get a bit more detail um, with a thinner brush and then later with a, a flatter, broader one. So just taking my time with each uh, shell image and just working my way from the light colour into the dark and then using any ink that's left over for some shading and colouring in. I really wanted to keep those kind of stripy looks on this particular shell. And then going on in with the bigger conch shell, having the different shades kind of gave it a bit more dimension and sort of an angle to the shell. And here you can see the other colour shining through. So I deliberately left a bit of white space at the top of the sand dollar so that I've got space to add the water and just pushing in the lighter colour towards the darker colour. And then the blending worked well using the two different shades of green and blue for my what will be seaweed. And then for the seahorse, again starting with the lighter shades of pink around the head, the tail and the tummy and then going to work towards the darker shades along the spine. So just cleaning off my brush in between to make sure that the colour doesn't transfer too much. The great thing about using the watercolour pencils is you still get a lovely kind of sketchy design afterwards. So I wanted to create a watercolour background um, or a sea background, so I'm using all my different shades of blue and just wanting to blend these colours in together. But I have sort of different shades and different hues of blue. So using that broader brush, just giving it a wash over with the water across the whole thing. I decided I wanted to add more to this and I've gone ahead and fussy cut all the shapes making sure that I just rough cut them out first 
<laughs> I saved you watching me fussy cut it out and there they are. So I wanted then to add more to the background. So I'm coming back in with the Fields of Flowers stamp set. Actually not coming back in, it's the first time I did it. I don't know why I didn't take the stamps off the other side. I thought I might use them again. And then I'm using the nesting dies. It's not the largest one, but the second one down because that's what fitted onto the page. And this leaves you a lovely shape and stitching around the edging. So after I put down my images just to, for placement to see where they go, I thought, well, wouldn't it be fun to have bubbles coming out of the seahorse? So rather than using the whole stamp, I've just partially stamped. Otherwise, there would be like a complete bubble accident happening here. And it was just right. Just a few bubbles coming up. I wanted to incorporate more black in the background so that you've got that contrast of the silhouette compared to the images at the front. So again, using more Field of Flowers stamps to do that. I'm partially adding the dimensionals, some along the top and then gluing the bottom half so that you've got bits sticking up and sticking down. Once I've done that, I'm just going to add it onto a mat and layer it onto a piece of black card. And then I pop in a Whisper White insert just so that you've got space to write on the inside. Adding a touch of Winker Stella, I couldn't resist. I wanted an underwater shiny look, but without going overboard. So just literally highlighting a few areas on each of those images. I'm desperately trying to show you, but I don't think it's actually showing up on this particular video. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me and watching along. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. Please let me know if you give it a go yourself and let me know your thoughts by leaving a comment below. Give me a thumbs up if you like this and don't forget you can subscribe to my channel for more videos. Take care and have a good day. Bye.